Now, the Ghana Tourism Authority has started processing 23 hospitality facilities for court for failing to pay the 1% tourism levy since July last year. Facilities in the Greater Accra region alone owe more than 100,000 cities. On Thursday, March 17, the Tourism Authority embarked on its routine inspection and issued a final warning to hospitality facilities in the Greater Accra region which had still not paid the tourism levy. 23 facilities in the region which had not paid since July last year were identified. The fund administrator said the defaulting facilities were yet to pay after several warnings. We follow up with the call, a phone call, to remind them of their arrears. Um, it looks as if some are not boarded, so we are now processing them for illegal action. Okay. So we have um, spoken to a solicitor who is get, gathering the data from us and then we'll be processing them for court. As at the end of March this year, the fund had raked in a little over 19 million cities. Hospitality facilities in the Greater Accra region alone contribute 78% to the fund annually. The reason for which most of the monitoring work is done in Accra. Majority of owners of hospitality facilities still do not seem to appreciate the relevance of the levy. What it is that people are complaining about is the application of the fund. The board is meeting next week to adopt a guideline on the application of the fund. So pretty soon people will get to know the uses of the fund, where and when the, uh, the fund will be, uh, start to be applied to and to the benefit of the industry. Instituted in 2011 under the Tourism Act 817, the levy is intended to provide additional funds to augment the annual budgetary allocation to develop the tourism industry.